I'm gonna try house. Okay. Yeah, it's it's okay. You're calling it a shit I'm house. I'm standing on the roof of a 15,000 square foot, eco-friendly, geothermal powered mega mansion. There's Prime Roboto and the resub Caitlin. Complete with an indoor basketball court and private golf course. That's a golf shot, guys. Is that Kevin O'Leary? My name is Eric Conover, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one of a kind mega mansion in New York. The home has eight bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. It's located in the exclusive Sands Point, New York, on the Long Island Sound, asking $25 million. I'm co-listing this one-of-a-kind home with a special guest. He's responsible for the most expensive- Hey, we saw that one. Sold ...in the history of the United States at a price point of $102 million. The one, the only, Mr. Sean Elliott. Oh. So pulling up to this home... Why do all rich bald men look this the same? This home sits on four acres of land right on the shores Introduce of the Long Island Sound. in the prime milky. The home is nicely set back on the lot from the main street, so there's plenty of privacy. Additionally, this home has a gated entrance for that extra level of security. This is a postmodern styled smart mm, home with very tons of glass, wood elements, and steel on the exterior. One of the main features in the front of this home is this eco-friendly motor court with a beautifully <laughs> landscaped garden right in the center. It really gives a thoughtful and serene cool. feeling when you approach the home for the first time. This mega mansion is an entertainer's paradise. Is it from Absolute Zero in the resub Holland and the owner's resub supercar Quickster. collection or be the valet for a huge party, which it's been used for many times. The motor court then flows into this paved driveway complete with a basketball court an automatic five car garage. It's now, not this a home is one I mean, it's not really a basketball court. They just turned the driveway into a basketball. Well, they didn't even they just took the driveway and put a basketball hoop there and painted lines. Every kid who ever bought a basketball hoop did the same thing in their driveway. Like this a little disingenuous to call this like a basketball court. Like yeah, I mean it works as one, but it's not like they designed it to be one. It just they have a driveway and they put a basketball hoop there. To this paved driveway complete with a basketball court and automatic five car garage. Now this home is one of the greenest in the entire country. It has a closed loop geothermal heating and cooling system. The home is covered in solar panels and also features a living rooftop, which we'll touch on a bit later in the video. A this living rooftop, This is one rooftop, of my favorite huh? homes we've ever toured. It's pretty amazing. I'm excited to see it. This shit better be alive. Look how oversized this is, mahogany. This door weighs 2,000 pounds. So the store is not only here because it looks beautiful, it's here for your protection. All right, let's head inside. Oh my gosh. This, this might be the most impressive entryway to a home I've ever seen. There's so much open space. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. Let's just break this down section by section since this is open concept. This is 16,000 square feet, a total open concept. You're looking at 40 foot ceilings wow. and 40 feet of glass. Is a tier one Yogar mini in the tier player. one Jorge. And there's different vignettes for seating. The Reset first vignette eyes. is more of like a formal living room. And I've noticed that the furniture in here is extremely elegant. What is the price for the staging in this home? This furniture was made custom specific for this house. Actually, it's Rouge Bourgeois. The value <gasps> is $2 million in the furniture alone. Rouge Bourgeois, huh? What a name. So I have to ask you, what is this art piece? Can you give a bit of detail about this? I mean, it's incredible. Our client was in London. Mm -hmm. And if you turn around and look at that piece, he fell in love with that piece and he fell in love with the artist. That piece alone is $100,000. Wow. So he commissioned that same artist to come over from the UK and do this wall. And if you look at it, it's people and it's hands and it's his and it's hers. And this piece alone, $250,000. How cute. Not only is I, as far as expensive art, art goes, at least that art. doesn't look awful. Look that piece out the window, that chess piece. That looks like shit. $150,000. So off here, this is, like you said, the formal living room. And then the open space flows into the dining room. Correct. So you've got a formal dining area. But you also have an informal dining Maybe area. Maybe we said so Gypsy in the prime take it. Twelve, you're just entertaining four. You've got a great place to entertain. So from this dining area, the home flows into another nice lounge area. I love this this fireplace. Could you explain a bit more about this <laughs> built-in right here? Certainly architectural, but what's so cool about it? This is an eco-friendly fireplace, and it burns just alcohol. And I'm not talking about Don Julio 1942. 
I'm talking about clean alcohol so that it has no pollutants that go in the atmosphere. And this wow. area to me, you know, I That's like a cool idea, I guess. Seating inside and then you have vignettes of seating outside. So really this room brings the outside in and the inside out. So now from this main open space, we're gonna head off to the right wing of the home. And this is the lounge slash billiard. Oh, this is, this looks pretty cool. Sitting area here. So it's like, you feel like either playing Jesus. golf or watching golf. You could do that here. You've got this red lacquer, hundred thousand dollar. Yeah, this, room, this room's kind of, this room's kind of cool. This world-class bar. If you check it out, you've got three Sub-Zero refrigerators, each one capable of holding 120 bottles of your favorite vino. So you got 360 bottles here. You can entertain anywhere from 100 people to 1,000 people at this house. But what you've got here is you've got dishwashers, ice makers, refrigeration, freezers. This refrigeration alone, somewhere around $50,000. So this is essentially the type of bar that you would have in any five-star establishment around the world. A hundred percent. There's so much more for you to see. Let's go check it out. When you do have, what was it, 15 or 16,000 square feet? 16,000 square feet. It's a lot of real estate to cover. It is, and uh, you've only probably seen 10% of this house. So when you come in this area, again, this beautiful fireplace, supports not only this vignette of seating but this really cool so far it's not a horrible area. piece of but shit i'm kind of surprised America, it overlooks the long island sound and overlooks your indoor pool you know it's just Thanks, calling zombie. your name right from here it's just extremely relaxing to me this house is like one big decompression chamber this is the breakfast room and this can be used for breakfast lunch and dinner no, I would, I would hope so. It's very simplistic. I would hope it doesn't just shut down so after you don't breakfast. Any appliances except for this espresso cappuccino maker and this microwave. Other than that, you see nothing. In addition, this house has what most houses don't have, but they did a hundred years ago. This house has a chef's kitchen. Everything oh done, my God! Done at the highest level. You've got Gaganau appliances. Is there some R two and cynical? Thousand dollars in appliances in this house alone. Eric, you why was he striking like a superhero pose here? Eric, you want to go dances in the Look at that. God damn. Eric is really fucking power stancing on Sean right now. Looking like an android in here. To be, I mean, to be fair, though, this place isn't bad. Like, this place is pretty cool. I, I don't know about this whole chef's kitchen thing, but whatever's going on with this wallpaper, I, I, I'm about it. In this house alone. Eric, do you want to go upstairs? Or do you want to go downstairs? Let's go down because I know you were mentioning that the entertainment floor in this house is. As we saw in the red. intro, there's a lot down here. Let's check it the out. Tier one camper. Welcome to the entertainment floor. We've got 6,000 square feet. What do you want to do first? It's very interesting because I've seen entertainment floors in homes of this caliber, and I've never seen a basketball court mm. smack when you get off the stairwell. So we want to check that out first. Let's go. How do you with uh, basketball? You want to go one on one? Can you dunk this? You can calm it. Dude, you can dunk this. Come on, you're six what, five? If you can dunk this ball, I'm gonna double your commission on this sale. Oh! Nice. You know, it's basketball is not your thing, but it really does seem to be your thing. You've got ping pong. You've got a world-class thing, but it really does seem to be your thing. You've got ping pong. You've got a world-class fitness center here for working out. If you decide world class. To work out, this would be a place to do it, but like this three house items. was really built for someone who loves golf. And we have a world-class $75,000 golf simulator. And the birds you're hearing are a simulation to make you relax, right? So, you know, grab a seven iron, pick up a club, pick up a ball, practice your True vegan. Over a thousand courses loaded into this database. I'm gonna grab probably a seven iron. He's a tier one rin pet, or, about the yeah, rin pet. Experience. See if we can put this on the green. Trash. Crazy, crazy golf simulator, the home gym. I'm gonna head back across this main section, past the ping pong table. And Sean, you mentioned that there was not just a pool in this home, but a spa? Not just any spa. We're talking about a world-class five-star spa that you're just walking into. You've got an indoor pool. You've got a steam room, a sauna. You've got a massage room. And you've also got that jacuzzi. 
Mmm, world class indeed. You know, we see a lot of nice homes. I've never seen a home Is tier one clueless that in the has prime so anus. many amenities. And the first thing I noticed when walking into the spa is there's no humidity in here. There's a system in here that gets rid of the humidity. And that's a half a million dollars. I think when you get into the class of ultra luxury, you do everything right. And the one thing about this client, <clears> this <throat> home, is every single component of this home, from the finishes to the materials, is world class. down to the mechanicals, are the best of the best. So what I love most about this hey, the five gift is subs that hey, I appreciate it. Pool, these panel doors are wide open. It brings the outside inside, but it also brings the inside outside. So where most houses have a pool that's only open three, four months a year, this pool's open 12 months a year. This home has a very West Coast feeling for being here in New York. It has a very relaxed feeling. You mentioned this is an entertainer's home. And You've got different vignettes of seating on different levels. I mean, literally, you can entertain just about anybody. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of space here. So before we head up to the roof, I do want to note that the owner and his family are still living here. So in respect of their privacy, we won't be shown the bedrooms. Fuck! Which are pretty incredible. This home features eight bedrooms in total with a very impressive master suite. Welcome to the rooftop. This rooftop rivals any rooftop of any major hotel in New York City. And, you know, New York City rooftops are great, but I don't think any of them are they? You. Sean, you mentioned this is a certified green home, and we have a living rooftop. These are some supersonic. Exactly. So it keeps the carbon down. It's as eco-friendly as it gets. You've got the solar panels on the roof to heat the pool. The water that this house has is reclaimed, so it's just used over and over again. Normally, a home of this price point, it's extravagant. People aren't really focused on the environment. And I think it's very refreshing to see a home that is so conscious of the environment and their footprint. Because it's the largest is it that conscious? Certified uh, home Jesus, in conscious America of its kind. What you have Everything you have inside was leather low, and rare stone. You know, right, so your electric bill in this house, <laughs> is it, the gas bill in this house, I mean, is it like geothermal. that actually, environmentally conscious? Told, they're under a thousand dollars a month. Sean mentioned that there's one other feature on this rooftop. Here we have, like I said, this is a golfer's paradise. This is a par three, about 110 yards. That's shot. that's fucking cool. That's a golf shot, guys. So the beauty of this tee box is Hey, wait, this guy's kind of good. That was a nice shot. In the sand trap. That wasn't bad. The sand trap in this instance is your very own private beach. Now that you're on the property, we're talking about four acres, and they left no stone unturned. Every six feet, you've got lighting, and every 12 feet, you have a speaker. But what's really cool is you can see that walking track. Yeah. If you walk that track, which surrounds the entire house, that's a quarter mile. You do it four times, you've walked a mile. It's truly. Yeah, that's how math works. It's I understood that. Home where you could essentially never leave this home and have everything you would ever need here. If it's basketball that's your thing, golf your thing, swimming your thing, or just relaxing in the spa. All the information to purchase is down below Twitch. in the description. I want to thank you for watching this episode, and with that, we will see you in the next one. That house wasn't shitty. There's some goofy elements to it, but it wasn't shitty. Oh, here's another one. Oh, and here's another one. A $24 million minimalist Colorado mountainside home. If I'm paying $24 million, the last thing I want is minimalism. <laughs> the fuck is the point in that case? 24 mil and I just get like, what, a couple empty rooms? Made out of what? Reclaimed oak? You have to check this out. Come here. I want to show you something. So this is what $24 million buys you in Telluride, Colorado. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Man, you can feel completely isolated from humanity out here. Jesus. That's actually kind of like encourage a cowardly dog just in the middle of fucking nowhere. There is nothing around this house. Thanks for the five gift subs, Ray, in the resub temple. Thank you for that, Ray. Appreciate the generosity. Thanks for Prime, yo. I can't click links, Bose, but I'm going to assume it's not. That we have ever done. Hold on. Let me see. Maybe I can copy and paste it. Thanks for the gift sub, Doc. 
Tell me what it's called, Bose, and I'll make another tab for it, but I can imagine it's not actually one of the lost ones. It's probably just a re-upload. And I also can't click links to Twitch, so please just tell me what the title is. Yeah, I can't even copy and paste it. I've said that a few times, but this is truly my favorite home. As you can see behind me, we are here in the beautiful Telluride, Colorado, and we're about to tour Here's this sub, boy. modern architectural masterpiece that has been built into the side of this hilltop here in Telluride. Now, oh, never mind. I was wrong. Hold on. There's a house behind this. Yeah, look at this. $24 million and I don't even own the entire mountain. Fuck. I'll pass, Eric. Thank you. Give this pigsty to someone else. Up here in Telluride. Now, a bit about Telluride, because this is my first time here and I've fallen in love with the town. Telluride is an old Victorian mining town that's nestled in the bottom of a box canyon. It's the most picture perfect, wild western town that you can imagine from all those old movies. God, that sounds today. awful. We have some stats on this home, where we're at. It right sounds now. so miserable. This home has six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It's just under 12,000 square feet of interior <clears throat> living space. And it's situated on 35 acres of prime mountainside real estate. And this beautiful home is listed for $24 million. Now stick around to the end of the video because we're going to sit down with the listing agents who I'd like to give a huge thanks to for letting us tour this incredible property. I believe Josh is actually here. We're going to sit down with him. And with that, let's get into this tour. I'm so stoked. Let's get thanks into this. Thanks, Arisa. Cody, Nuclear, Harrington, and the Gifts of Ruthless. This place doesn't seem bad. Hmm. So welcome to 296 Greyhead Lane. Now before we even get to the home, Things the approach chaos. to this house is something out of a movie. It's a long winding dirt road overlooking the mountain range off in the distance. Upon finally turning this corner, How inconvenient. seeing this modern architectural masterpiece behind me. Now this home was designed and developed by Poss Architecture based out of Aspen. And the coolest thing about this home, we'll actually head up to the door. If you look through this oversized front door, it was framed perfectly with Mount Wilson right in the background. Now, most of you have seen Mount Wilson, but you've seen it on the Coors Light can. That's the Coors Light Beer Can Mountain, and that's framed around right oh, cool. the front door. Who cares? So here we have the motor court, and it's been left unpaid, keeping with that rustic, rugged Brian. feel of Telluride. We have the two-car garage off of the corner here. Right in front, the landscaping oh, is beautiful, cute, swift. keeping in with the theme of the area. We have those quaking aspens, and then we have an awesome water feature there off into the corner, which actually flows under the home. But let's make our way up to the front entrance and head into this beautiful home. So now normally we go through the great room, but when you walk in here, this home is framed around. No, she didn't room, actually. Four to ceiling glass. Not at all. With the Shuko doors, so we're just gonna go right outside and show you. <laughs> So 24 million dollar ride. So this here, this home was built oh my. with this in mind. This is it right here. The entire oh, home was good. built around that mountain range. Looks very good. Even the design of the home itself, the different peaks of the different wings of the home is all based off of that right there. You have those lush green forests and then the rolling hills leading up to the peak right in the center. And we'll get- This seems kind of boring. This area. When I said it's that not ugly, it's not cool. That you'll see as we tour the space. The view's so nice. Into the corner here. We it is just a like a stairwell basic house down to the lower level captain america shield pretty later. cool freeze step this neat peep things all the run supporting the structure we have these <clears> in the center <throat> have this like dishwasher <clears throat> milk again more into that right in the actual house <clears throat> this section four units right here welcome yeah kind of boring i love the architecture well then buy it Stop telling me, talk to Eric, and purchase it. Let's see another eco-friendly house. <laughs> this is a pretty intense intro. I feel like the Avengers are gonna land on top of this house.
Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. Eric here. And this week's hey, episode, Eric. I've traveled all the way to Spain to meet up with the top real estate agent here in Marbella, Artur Loganov from Dromelia Real Estate. And we are touring this first property, which is an oceanfront mega mansion. Arthur. Tell us about this house. Well, first of all, I'm excited. It's great to have you, Eric, in Marbella, finally, and amazing to show you this spectacular property that I have right in front of me, featuring 12 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, a totally frontline beach plot of just Art over collector's 4, luxury square home, meters, sure. 2,500 square meters built. We've got indoor heated swimming pools, cinemas, a spa oh. overlooking the sea, which is absolutely unique, and loads of rooftop terraces with lounges, bars, and jacuzzi, everything overlooking the sea view. There's a lot, so make sure to watch this entire episode. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also Arthur's channel. He yep. tours the best properties here in Spain. And with that, let's jump into the tour, starting with the exterior of the home. Let's start right from the beginning. Let's do it. The property is set in a cool de sac, so it's completely private. No one sees you from outside, like you've seen it yourself when you drove in here. Well, what do you mean? Oh man, I love how you have the wall around the house, the gated entryway, and then also this driveway, the motor court, how it does like a loop around. Yeah, you drive in, you drive out, park in front of the house. What? Nice and easy, <laughs> and then it's the six car garage here. It's called the, the driveway. Office, and there's a two car garage <laughs> on the other side. What do you mean? Stuff for guests with their you mean, you the mean like a driveway? Later on, very cool as well. And then also we're surrounded by really big estates in this neighborhood. So all the houses around are really huge they got all these pine trees and also 24-hour security here not very important that's nice and then as far as the architecture i love how some Kohaku. this is it's very grand with the white stucco on the exterior then the black on the windows nice grass in front it's like we've got this marble detail also around the window oh, yes. that adds Beautiful. a bit of character to the property and then this this is the coolest feature check this out so this is found a prime cash. in the ceilings of a Rolls Royce yeah. on your overhang entry. So you get out of your car, like you were saying, if you're having an event. That's kind of cool. Up, this is your grand, almost Hollywood this entry. Is like your yeah, that's apartment. cool. Oh, God damn. You come out of the car and you just go to the property. I like how you have the black ceramic to reflect. Yeah, that's the nice. It mixes with the white stucco. Also, those water features are so pretty. You're very serene. Yeah, you've got both sides. Nice details. And well, you're ready to check this property out, which is prime. I'm ready, Archer. 14.9. 9 million euros which in dollars is just about 16.9 17 million and it's interesting because you'll see in this video what you get for that amount here in Marbella if this home was in let's say Malibu beachfront it would be probably closer to let's say 75 million dollars oh not well, bad there's a lot of stuff to see here right let's go inside let's go let's, let's check go it do out. it take me in Archer well how's your first feeling the moment you step in that looks like this shit. is Elegant. I love it, it looks like a sensory deprivation tank. You've got this plaster on the wall, which is a rose, which is hiding the sea view, which you'll see in a moment. Absolutely spectacular. Marble on the floor. Bedroom section is on that side. Call of faces MK, MK Leo tomorrow. Yeah, we'll All right, let's go. Later. We'll be watching. Let's check it out. So this is then the great room with views of the Mediterranean Sea right here in this great room. Absolutely stunning, but wait. Boring. Go out there, let's talk about this room. This is your main living room. We've got height about five meters in here. Very special. This is the worst couch I've seen in my life. Very grand. It's a bunch of fucking sleeping bags. You have the wow moment. Boo. Boo. This yeah. high ceilings. This is beautiful. This is like an art piece. Really stunning chimney. I like the black ceramic, which again repeats that entrance moment, remember? Yeah, this is cool too. This kind of like fun beanbag couch in the center. Yeah, you don't see many of those. Yeah, because they're and awful. This would be the family room off to the right here. Yeah, this is more like your family moment, the cozy part of the house. I mean, you've got your grand living, but then you want to be maybe with the kids watching the TV. Is it? What's with the furniture, man? All of this is like made for ants. And it transmits that warmth. These couches are bare off the floor like it's basically just sitting on blankets why is everything so small get some like actual furniture it's as well right yeah it's it, it's nice to have the contrast from the entertaining room to then bring it in here kick off the shoes watch tv exactly or kick off the shoes and head and go to the outside shall we head out there let's do it because i mean marbella is all about the outdoor and indoor lifestyle combined together like here you spend most of your life out here, not inside the house. That's why no, you don't. in properties in Madrid, so you mean? all the outdoor spaces, you've got your covered huge porches, then your outdoor here for the sunbathing. I mean, check this out. 
I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this week's episode. Omaze. Oh, this was sweet. Omaze gives away. You know, it's really that serenity. You hear the sound of the waves crashing on the beach, the warm air, the clouds. It's it's really the feeling here that I have never felt in any market in America. I'm thinking maybe Miami comes wow. kind of close, but that's amazing that you say that. Also, the property <laughs> the plot is so wide. It is actually like NPCs having a conversation. So can see Gibraltar today. Wow, Eric, wow. it's so it's crazy that, you that said that. The continent of Africa. Come look at this glass. Yeah, next to Gibraltar, on a clearer day, we can see Africa. And at night, it's breathtaking. I love the infinity pool, how it's yeah. the, the walk-in, like that beach entryway. Correct. All this patio space, the uh, glass railings here. Then you've got all this extra garden space down here, like for kids to play around. If you want to throw a big party, you've got plenty of space around for that. And have a look at the facade. I love how you can really see the architecture of the home and the mm -hmm. symmetry with that white stucco, all the patio spaces, all the glass. Thanks to Fry and give some I mean, Zumba. And resub and delusion for Can Barn and Slap really and Wathi and Pico. Here on the market is so popular and so demanded. I have a look because the facade is so long. There's so many different sitting areas all around. I mean, check this out. I like that how you have where you the indoor family room, you open up that glass door, you have the outdoor family room. All connected. As I said, all the time we have the indoor outdoor living together. So important. And then even this. So this is that Rolls Royce star ceiling mm -hmm. again here outside. The moment we added the entrance. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, the heating system as well. At yep, night, we'll be watching cheap. Cola tomorrow for sure. Here anyway. Oh yeah, I'd be Enjoy. out here all the time. Exactly, 24-7. When you look at properties in Marbella, people that know, they value this space way more than anything else. <clears throat> Imagine you have a nice dinner, you have your entire family out here, you even have this hanging swing to chill from. Yeah, like your meditation corner, read a book, watch a YouTube property of Eric. I'm not gonna sit down though because I'm still a little bit jet lagged and I will not off. Probably, I'll have nap. to do this all myself. Yeah, let's keep on going. <laughs> got, got music oh, on Eric, you jokester. Inside, out, all the time. And we're back inside into the dining room. This is a 12-seater, beautiful hardwood table, modern light fixtures above. I, I love this. It's just very warm, very uh, communal. Feels like a family would be here. And then all this space connects together. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the idea, I guess. Everything I looking out to the sea. <laughs> And then of course, Man, it's like, like people are rooms, you can supposed to like live in this or yeah, something. Nice this is weird. No problem, Why would they do that? I think I know about you, but I really like. I this. like the grand feeling of it. I also like the kitchen. Then right off of the dining room, very open plan. I mean, you've got lots of space around. Oh, sweet. Well, welcome then, Par. Things are good, so Marcus. In the middle, I love the the white lacquer on the cabinets on the countertop, oh, the look at that. here. And this is the kind of place, like you said, where you could have a huge event. And you were saying that off here. Well, they need the five gift subs again, so Buffalo. Remember we have 12 here. Well, they need the five speed. gift subs again, so Buffalo. Remember we have 12 bedrooms in here. And for that, you also need a lot of staff and you're gonna have a lot of guests. So all this corner, this is for staff. This is like a second <clears> dirty <throat> kitchen, we call it. Well, what do you call it, Eric? Uh, prep kitchen, chef's kitchen. I like dirty kitchen because this is where you would. Nice yeah, this is the dirty, exactly. That's like where you have the sushi and the glass of wine. <laughs> and this is where you come and you make the feast. Not you, probably the staff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, we don't. What? Outdoor yeah, of entrance course. as well. So if you have a party or something, you can serve it directly from here. And then on this side, this is like a staff bedroom. It's just really, really small. Actually, it's got its own entrance as well. It's nice. small, but yet you have. Here's your sub CJ. Views got sea views. Yeah. I mean, this is happy staff living in this house. But let's carry on. Happy staff. You have like a haunted picture above them. It's not a happy picture at all. Over here, we enter this hallway, which connects with the entrance that I spoke about at the beginning of the video. So then you have two bedrooms here with the shared bathroom. There's a prime That's right. And another separate bedroom, completely ensuite. I want to check this out. And it's so nicely decorated. It's also interesting, you mentioned how long the facade is. Even in the guest bedrooms, you have sea views, which is pretty rare. You would expect this bedroom to be at the back. Well, I have no views at all, but even from here. So outdoor space. Man, access, that's amazing. Bathrooms, Our tour, this bedrooms, place is incredible. Well, the thing is, when you have 12 bedrooms in wow. a mansion, you still would expect many bedrooms or guest suites to be in the basement. But here, it's all above. Cool that. car. I've actually seen houses, especially in what Los makes Angeles, this eco friendly or, say, Atlanta, where the, well, I have no fucking clue. I don't know. Are almost subterranean. Yeah, so they don't even have sunlight. Yeah, but this is like completely separate wing to the property. Just forget some stuff depending on your lifestyle. 
Now we're back to the entrance. And then we've got the guest toilet right next to the entrance. You want to check this out? Yeah, so this is Take a cool. shit in it, Eric. So there's a standing pedestal, which is lit from underneath, full-length mirror on the back with recessed lighting, and check what this out. What the fuck is that? Push the touch, the faucet comes out of the ceiling to this standing pedestal. Why? Pretty unique. Also, views here. Yeah, but why? The property with the water features. What is the point of that? We'll leave this for now. Back into the main entry. Got the glass lift. Another cool detail as well next to the entrance. This is very, very sleek. Yeah. Also, we... that's I've never seen one this large in a home. It was built an extra size just for this property. You're absolutely right. Closet space off to the left. Exactly right next to the entrance. And then over here, this is the family wing. So we've got Happy birthday, Broken here, Wings. Three bedrooms above us. The six Thanks, Risa Barracks. Beautiful family bedrooms. Let's start with this one. What do you wow. think about Wow. I love the fact that it's a corner room, floor to ceiling glass, and the fact that every single room, you can see the, the sea. Everywhere. Everywhere. That's the whole point about this property. And then you've got glass into the bathroom as well, which brings all that light. You're sitting at the bathtub overlooking the sea view as well. Which is, all is there no toilet here? You, what, what do you do? You just hop in the toilet and shit? Tub, the floating vanity. Oh, there it is. The steam shower with the glass divider. Yeah. It's all so well done. Glass doors as well. Then again, the room is very spacious. You still got space. Who's the fuck? ginger ale. And the prime lazy there. Roscoe, yeah, the Rocco door, and the resub so mod. Very minimal, very clean. Yeah, that's right. And then connects outdoor to this covered porch, which is another corner to the property away from everything else. So you can be all by yourself if you want to, away from all the guests. I mean, just look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then we've got the other bedroom on the other side. They share this terrace. This bedroom is even bigger. Oh, baby. Better, if it could be. <laughs> They're all very large. I want to just drive that home for you watching this. These are huge rooms. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, there's like nothing oh, in them. Put some cool shit in here. A bit different. Like, like a bowling alley all over the place, in every room. But it has these different touches. And then look at all the closet space here. Yes, and of course the bedroom is completely ensuite. Then over here we have the bedroom number three. So we have the other two looking out to the sea. This bedroom There's is a prime the back, but it still gets plenty of natural light and the views of the car. Yeah, the so what makes this eco-friendly? I do like how you mentioned they're all different. All the backs just, of the beds. Just like every other house. The last one with that metallic, this is the nice earthy wood. Yeah, breaks it up. Brings, exactly, breaks it up. That's the way to describe it. Again, Maybe some killer suite, maniac and switch. I think it's time to go upstairs. Shall we take the lift or the stairs? Let's take, take the, the lift. Stairs, and then oh. we'll take the lift to go back down perfect, to the basement. Perfect. Excellent this idea, Archer. This is a statement piece. When you first walk Wonderful. into the house and you see this, I also like them because you can see this is a floating marble staircase. Yes. And with this glass lift, you can actually see the stairs as well. Yeah. You look throughout the windows. Cool the LED stair, lights. The, exactly, the LED lights are pretty nice. Being glass, it uses less so power to light the house. Bedrooms on this floor. And I mean, okay. I'm sorry. I know we've got many things, but I have to take you to the master straight away. Like, follow me this There's way. a lot. Well, I'm don't apologize. I'm not yeah, mad, no, no, Arthur. No, no. Let's, let's have a look at this. Okay. So oh, this never mind. Now I'm upset. This place looks this like shit. This is the place to be. Way to waste my time. This house. One of the things I like about this bedroom is that normally we would have a terrace out here. But in this case, the terrace is kind of hidden, so it feels like the bedroom's just overstanding the sea. So does this house come furnished? Well, the furniture is not included in the price, but it can be bought. And the price of all this furniture pack is 1 million euros. Oh, that's we pretty reasonable. Why as well, right? It's, For uh, the it's smallest so, furniture of all so time? It's so minimal and so modern, it just all works. You've got this full built-in walk-in closet, dark Beautiful. wood, again, LED lighting. Good contrast. And then off here, this would be the master bathroom. Wow. Is that a fireplace? That's a fireplace. <laughs> ethanol fireplace in your bath so that, Woo! check this out, when you're lying in here, looking at the sea, got the fire going on, maybe a bit of music. <laughs> well, so you could in the winter time open up all this glass, sit in your tub, have the fire lit, and just be toasty with the view of the Mediterranean. Exactly. But why would you want to, like, ever? It's special. It it's sounds awesome. like it's such an absurd amount of work for little payoff. Yeah, you've got your double vanity, that's right, the ceramic coming in from the floor to the wall. I really like this mirror effect. Like, as well, you're washing your hands here, you still see the sea view. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. On both sides, you've got one side, the huge shower for these two people. He's a resub guy and gray man. And the toilets are on the other side. 
it's very tasteful, it's minimal, it's clean. Even this wood accent chair in the corner here. Yeah, that last <laughs> touch the for the extra. Tones. <laughs> I mean, coming out, still I just want to mention once again how big the bedroom is. Yeah, I mean, it's massive. Got your chaise long area, huge TV, nice LED lights, Thanks, everywhere. Your hanging lamps are something else. Very yeah. mid-century modern. So we've got two more bedrooms to cover. Awesome. And then we've got all right. something else as well. Is there anything interesting? Because all of this is just kind of fucking empty. Space here. Absolutely. I like where to today. I think good. Cool areas to it. Got gas fireplace, lounge area. Look at this bar. Beautiful marble on the countertop with the. This this little area is kind of cool. Even the backboard here. The foosball and pool. Beautiful wood design. And as you can see, it's tier one witness. The surprise you all around as you go through the property. Because then this connects to. Oh, there's the skylight with the entry. This is as, actually, so this is like so many something else I want to show you. Nice. Oh yeah. Give it. The singing. What was that? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Check this out. You're watching. Wall of meat. Sky coming in. I have wall from my hand. Nice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No, I'm not watching the fucking Jake Paul fight. I could not care less. I genuinely couldn't. I'm done with that YouTuber boxing garbage. It's so it's so fucking bad. It is unbearable. Just tell me who wins. He's a prime Tam. Why do the richest people have the emptiest houses? I don't know, man. Oh, I forgot all about the art collector house. Right, that would be the last house of tonight, though.